Candace Owens schooled Piers Morgan. Let's get into it. Real question. It's, I don't know what this is, but apparently it's some sort of a religious sacrament that every media member has to go on and on and on about Israel. You would literally think that I was an Israeli citizen, that we are all Israeli citizens. It doesn't make sense to me and many other people all across the world why there is such an obsession and a focus on this country in the Middle East. They almost try to penalize you, to punish you for not focusing on it. And so, yes, of course, Piers Morgan came right to the table and tried to pretend that it was suspicious that I didn't tweet for days when a terrorist attack happened on a foreign country's soil. Take a listen. And here's where I'm just curious about your tweeting uh, through this, this procedure, this whole war, because on October the 7th, you didn't tweet anything. You didn't tweet anything on October the 8th. And October the 9th, you tweeted, so much world peace ever since we got the orange man out of office. So glad the adults are back in charge. Um, a lot of people say, well, if you care this much about innocent people being killed, why didn't you say anything when 1,200 people were massacred to death in the most brutal, barbaric manner in this awful terror attack by Hamas, and nearly 7,000 more were wounded, some of them catastrophically and irreparably. Why did that not compel you to say anything? Well, first and foremost, uh, Israel is a foreign country. So typically I talk about topics that have to do with America. Secondly, you're only quoting my Twitter feed. I'm also on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. Mm. I'm, I also had a daily podcast in which I did respond directly about what happened and called the events horrific mm. multiple times, multiple times said what Hamas did was absolutely horrific. So you're using a snapshot of my Twitter feed where you're acknowledging that I didn't tweet for days. Uh, to suggest that I didn't have anything to say about what had happened. Now, to be clear, I am consistent on all matters. I do not want America involved whatsoever in anything that is happening in Israel. I don't want my dollars sent over to Israel. We should not be supporting Israel. Um, obviously, Thomas Massey has done a lot of work showing how it doesn't even make economic sense that we have so much debt and yet we're sending money over to support Israel. That's funny because it's almost like they try to like force people to be on the side of Israel just because they have the power in the media to just sway people's opinion on what's going on in the Middle East. What if you're not interested in Israel or Palestine? They said that your silence is now a problem because you could have been saying something and being on someone's side about this issue that's going on. What if you're Americans first and you don't really want to talk about those things? You want to talk about what's going on in America, the issues that Americans are facing. Let me know what you guys think.